Used to call me on my cell phone. Late night when you need my love. Call me on my cell phone. Boo! You suck! For those of you who don't remember, which is probably a shit ton of you, there was a movement on YouTube started by Nostalgia Critics Doug Walker, aka the guy who does movie reviews and shows footage of the movie, both with and without movie audio. Now if you do remember, then you'll remember the name being hashtag where's the fair use. For a while people were complaining, and for good reason. Companies weren't adhering to fair use laws that not just exist in the US, but in almost any country you can imagine that's not a third world shithole. What fair use is, is that it's the doctrine that prevents content creators from having to have specific legally documented rights or permission to utilize the content of someone else in the creation of his or her projects, so long as it meets a certain few specific conditions. And most of these are very vague, but easily discerned. What these conditions are, or in most cases that I see on YouTube, would be that if your video is for the purpose of review and only utilizes someone else's content by only sampling it for the purpose of review, which means not showing it in its entirety, and is transformative in nature. This is all good, but companies weren't adhering to this, and I'm here to tell you that they still aren't. Fair use has still not been found. No matter what new rules YouTube adds in, unless it directly flips the bird to companies who just randomly strike videos even remotely related to their content, then companies are still being told by Google that it's A-OK -okay to use this system. It's not being abused per se, but being used the way it was meant to be. It's used so that companies can just stomp their feet on the little guys. Recently, my own video has gotten taken down by Sony Music Entertainment, which was a review of the recent Japanese anime Blend S. Initially, it was given a claim and blocked in countries like the US and Australia, and mostly countries that speak English, which would make my video a hell of a lot more pointless. Now, after disputing it, they denied my dispute, as if somehow there's some legal authority on what is and isn't a legit dispute, and decided to strike me instead. What this shows to me is that these companies, including Google and YouTube, are not one bit there for the people, and it's not something new. They're always showing this. Just it gets worse and worse. Now a common argument I see all the time from incredibly autistic or greedy shills for these companies is that they're a private company and can do whatever they want. I'm here to tell you to take those arguments and shove them up your ass. Major corporations are not just private companies. They are public faces that have money and power and are not at all under the same legal privileges that a small private company has. We're not talking about a small family-owned cake-making shop refusing to build a cake for a gay couple because they have certain religious views and privately own the shop itself and are small and only with a small local reach. Big-time companies aren't allowed those protections because they are required to be held to a much higher standard. They aren't making this website out of their own passions. They're making YouTube, keeping it up, and doing this all for profit through things like ad revenue and extending their reach. So no, they can't do whatever they want. They are required to adhere to any and all laws related to content creation and to protect those who meet those standards. And it's not up to another major corporation whether you legally meet fair use. This probably would happen less if we weren't all so fucking lazy and just sitting around expecting it to change and stay changed forever, myself included. Major corporations are like mentally handicapped kids in special ed class. While the mentally handicapped kids are often having to be reminded not to bite their own flesh for whatever reason, major corporations are required to often be sternly reminded not to bite the hands that feed them. They aren't magically making money and just magically producing websites. You are their big piggy bank. You are the one who is supposed to control how they run a site, or they do not have that site. It's not their right to have a website if they aren't willing to make the money to produce content, and YouTube is slowly losing money due to not just bad decision making, but obviously horrible choices in management. And now I'm currently disputing this again through a counter notification. It shouldn't take a legal process to forward a statement about why you meet fair use to a company. And it shouldn't be said by YouTube that you can request a retraction. If it was that easy to contact these companies and expect a response in a timely fashion, we wouldn't be having a part of this conversation now, would we? 
With all that said, I'm gonna start shilling out my Patreon at the end of every video, at least till I know I've finally gotten a normal job. I'm not expecting this to go anywhere big, so I'm still gunning for that job at Walgreens or Kroger's or even a job selling used shoes for all I care. And I'm doing this to hopefully build up money should I ever need it. If I do make anything that could at least help me pay for any legal fees, that's what a job or if Patreon kicks off for me is for, then I would be a lot more secure. Uh. But the most imperative thing for you to do is to share this video and share this message. The battle between major corporations and the content creators and user base will never end until individual companies die, but then it just means you have to move on to the next company or a retarded child that you have to keep in check. But I would appreciate some helping dosage of Patreon money though. All I really want for late Christmas is a VR headset with controls, a new computer that can run it, and VR chat so I can join in on the shitposting of cancerous VR chat rooms. I am a filthy weeb after all.